Hi folks, welcome to Right Outside with Big Bow Outdoors TV. We're glad you've decided to join us today. I'm your host Matt Propelka and we have an exciting episode set up for you. First we're going to go along as we put in our food plots over on some land that we've leased in Washington County, Pennsylvania. Then we're going to show you a hunt that was a direct result of putting those food plots in. After that we're going to jump into the kitchen and we're going to do venison bourguignon which is a French dish, but don't let that scare you. It's actually pretty easy to put together and very well received. So without any further ado, let's jump right into putting in some food plots. Growing up in western Pennsylvania, hunting for me was always a once or twice a year affair. You had to get out of town in order to pursue your passion, and so that normally meant a road trip, uh, whether you were heading up to central Pennsylvania or to the hills of West Virginia. It just wasn't something that you were able to do in your backyard. Normally we'd go out for about a week, maybe a couple of days or a long weekend, but that was about it. About 15 years ago, things really changed for me. That's when I got into archery hunting and decided if I was really going to pursue my passion, I had better find some places to hunt a little closer to home. Things really started to take off for me a few years ago when a couple of guys at work and I got together on a hunting lease in Washington County, Pennsylvania. And part of that partnership, we decided we were going to pursue a food plot strategy in order to ensure that we were holding quality deer on our property. Since we were leasing our property from a timber company, finding places to put in food plots was going to take some creative thinking. And that's what we had to do. We had to find holes in the canopy. And while it was really nice being able to find great woodlots on the property, we had to scour every single inch of that property to find areas where we could plant seed and they would actually grow. We arrived on a strategy of identifying logging roads and places where old lumber mills used to sit and use those areas to plant our food plots. Our first foray into food plotting required a lot of manual labor. We simply headed out into the woods with some chainsaws, some weed whackers, and a little red rototiller that we had borrowed from my Uncle Mitch. That rototiller plowed under small food plots for us, and we were successful in our strategy. The second year, we decided to double down on it, and I invested in a Culpin dirt work system. After figuring out how to maneuver that thing through the woods, we finally had a method to put in some sizable food plots. Our food plot strategy effectively begins in March. That's when we jump on our quads and find new places where we want to do some planting. We look for areas where the deer are already traveling and then we put in that food plot to try and make it more attractive and to try and hold them on the property. After we have identified a spot, we go ahead and plow it with the open dirt work system and then put down some lime. The strategy here is to try and get the lime down in March so we make sure we get at least another snow and that allows the lime to slowly work its way down and get a nice even covering into the soil. That way, when you come back in May to plant your plot, all you have to do is give them a light tilling with the Culpin Dirt Work system, put down some good seed, and let nature take its course. My strategy this year was to hunt a stand that was put in by my good friend Mike Shadell, and that stand was about 50 yards away from one of the larger food plots that we had put in. As I arrived that morning, I determined it was going to be cold, it was going to be rainy, and eventually it was going to get windy. Perfect day for hunting white-tailed deer. After hauling all my equipment up into the stand, and I was self-filming that morning so I had an awful lot of equipment to haul, I had to wait out a few rain showers. Finally, the rain cleared up and I was able to take down my tree stand umbrella, and that's when the wind started. This is Chuck White from Bucks and Bows Archery. Whether you're a beginning archer or a seasoned veteran, we can meet all your archery needs. Bucks and Bows Archery is a Matthews Bowtech Elite Archery and PSE dealer. 
Fox & Bows is a full service archery pro shop. Whether you're looking for that new bow customized to your exact specifications or simply need fine tuning of existing equipment, we have the technicians and pro staff to get the job done. I'd like to personally invite you to stop by and check out our wide selection of bows. We hope to see you soon. ABC Glass & Mirror is your full service commercial and residential glass specialist. Whether you need custom shower enclosures, same day screen or thermopane repair, a new tabletop, or a commercial storefront, call the experts with over 30 years of experience. ABC Glass and Mirror is fully insured. They're located on Route 8 just off the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Stop by and visit our friendly staff today. For the past 15 years, Blue Mountain Environmental Management Corporation has been dedicated to reducing environmental impact, preventing workplace injuries, and limiting our clients' liabilities. Our staff of environmental scientists, engineers, and technical specialists are committed to providing innovative safety solutions, comprehensive environmental consulting services, and source testing to keep your business compliant with ever-changing regulations. Blue Mountain Environmental, the leader in environmental services. Welcome back. Let's jump right back into my hunt as I try and arrow a buck on one of our leases in Washington County, Pennsylvania. Just as I was starting to get discouraged, I noticed some movement out of the corner of my eye. There was an eight point working his way across the hill down below me. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get a shot, but I was struggling to get the camera around to see if I could get some footage of him. And as I was moving the camera, he made a 90 degree turn and started heading right up the hill toward my stand and the food plot that we had put in. Now I had a decision to make. Just shot a little late. I think I hit him good. Probably a little further back than I'd like, but I saw a lot of red blood come out. I believe I just watched him go down over there, so. Let's just do a little time check here. He's 41. We're gonna give him at least a half an hour, but I'll take a look and see it. Review the footage and see what we got. Oh, thank you, Lord. That's good stuff. Well, that should be a dead deer. Those are white fletchings. It's pretty solid blood trail, eh? Yeah. 
Yeah. He's bleeding pretty good here. Kind of a youngster. But I'll take it. Fortunately, I had put a good shot on this deer and he only ran about 40 yards away. Interestingly enough, he died right in the food plot that I had put in. Talk about things going full circle. All in all, this was a really satisfying hunt for me. Not only because I was able to harvest the nice eight point, it was also satisfying to know that the work that we had put in over the last nine months in tending that food plot was producing results. Well, that was a really exciting hunt for me. It was really nice to see our food plot strategy come full circle. Now we're going to jump into the Big Bow Kitchen and I'm going to walk BBO Pro Staffer Rick Maxson on the recipe for venison bourguignon. Alright, so today we're going to make uh, venison bourguignon, which is venison burgundy and some of our redneck brethren like to refer to it as Frenchy stew. So I uh, am gonna work with my protege, Rick Maxson, a BBO pro staffer who I've already got put to work here. I have managed to get the venison cut down into two inch chunks where to use a back strap from the dough that I took uh, across the street over on the gas line. And I think you're gonna find this is a really interesting recipe that the entire family's going to enjoy. And it's a little off the beaten path, so it's something that you can serve to your high brow friends and then afterwards let them know that they've been eating a deer that you shot in the backyard. So stay with us. How's that working out? is eight ounces of bacon and uh, of course you're going to need three pounds of venison cut into two inch cubes. You're going to want some either beef or venison stock, olive oil, brandy, in this case we're using blackberry but uh, obviously you can either use regular brandy or a flavor with some sort of a flavor that's going to be complimentary to red meat. I opened up a bottle of uh, Merlot last night to breathe. Uh, we will be using the entire bottle in the recipe. We have onions that are rough cut, chunked carrots, cremini mushrooms. You need, uh, I believe you need a pound of that, so I got two eight ounce packages. We're gonna need some spices that we can put together, and uh, I managed to pick up some sage, some fresh rosemary, and some fresh bay leaves. We'll need tomato paste, six cloves of garlic, butter, which is the secret ingredient that anything that you're really gonna make that's delicious. So Yukon Gold potatoes, however, the recipe calls for the small little baby tomatoes, so you'll, or tomatoes, potatoes. So you'll see these, uh, whenever we get them out and cut them and bake them, you'll see they're a little bit smaller, but I think that's gonna add to, uh, add to the recipe. Other than that, a uh, couple of tools you'll need is a good set of kitchen knives, and if you have one, a garlic press. So first thing we're gonna do is get the bacon cut up and get that sauteing in the pan, and uh, everything should come together relatively quickly after that.
such a great sound. You want to lay it in, don't throw it in. Don't throw <laughs> that will teach you to lay it in. Yeah, that's good. You just your head down. Right. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. 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 you are that, you drink the I think you get the That's it. It doesn't matter when it tastes like Oh, don't want to it. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add the carrots, the onions, and the garlic into the pan. <laughs> Knife. So once we get the uh, onion soft, we're going to go ahead and add the cremini mushrooms, cook it for five to ten minutes, and then we're going to transfer everything into a larger pot because we got a lot here. Okay. It smells good. Oh, it should smell good. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the onion soft now. So we're going to go ahead and add the mushrooms. Add the mushrooms? Criminy. <laughs> Criminy cricket. Criminy cricket. That's a mushroom. <laughs> Let it sit. Ten minutes. Yeah. Oh, you're busy sniffing my freaking stuff. So we just put some sage in there. It smells like pine trees. Then I know it's you. One thing. Take this, tie it all together. Any idea on the reason you're tying this? Well, because you don't want it to get, you want the flavor from it, but you don't want, you don't want to eat it. You don't want to eat it, yeah, exactly. So you just uh, tie it into this bouquet, and that way it's easy because you can drop it in, leave it for three hours, and when you're done, just pull it right out. Okay, so now we're going to add back in. Our venison. I'm gonna get this nice and tossed. We're gonna add back in our bacon. This is Chuck White for Bucks and Bows Archery. Whether you're a beginning archer or a seasoned veteran, we can meet all your archery needs. Bucks and Bows Archery is a Matthews Bowtech Elite Archery and PSE dealer. Bucks and Bows is a full service archery pro shop. Whether you're looking for that new bow customized to your exact specifications or simply need fine tuning of existing equipment, we have the technicians and pro staff to get the job done. I'd like to personally invite you to stop by and check out our wide selection of bows. We hope to see you soon. ABC Glass and Mirror is your full service commercial and residential glass specialist. Whether you need custom shower enclosures, same day screen or thermopane repair, a new tabletop, or a commercial storefront, call the experts with over 30 years of experience. ABC Glass and Mirror is fully insured. They're located on Route 8 just off the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Stop by and visit our friendly staff today. For the past 15 years, Blue Mountain Environmental Management Corporation has been dedicated to reducing environmental impact, preventing workplace injuries, and limiting our clients' liabilities. Our staff of environmental scientists, engineers, and technical specialists are committed to providing innovative safety solutions, comprehensive environmental consulting services, and source testing to keep your business compliant with ever-changing regulations. Blue Mountain Environmental, the leader in environmental services. Welcome back. We're going to jump back into the Big Bow Kitchen where we're cooking venison bourguignon. We've got everything in the pot, now it's time to make the sauce. We are now going to add a half cup of brandy, which, uh, Ricky, is that a full half cup or did you drink it? 
I'm just kidding. I measured out a cup and drank half. <laughs> measured out one cup, drank half. Right? Three quarters, but I think we'll be fine. That's right. All right, fire it in. So we're putting in a half cup of brandy. All right, that's, well, this is getting good. It's starting to smell nice. Next, will you bring me that bottle of wine? Ricky's getting a phone call. Sorry. That's all right. Pour in the entire bottle. This is a uh, Merlot. Uh, it's actually pretty, pretty old. Um, I opened it last night just to make sure that it wasn't uh, skunky. It was pretty good. All right, next we'll need two cups of the broth. Watch your, watch your levels. And we're gonna be right at the very top level here. Taking it to the limit here. Just, we need to make sure this doesn't do. Yeah, and now you will add the bouquet. The bouquet of flavors. Okay, yeah, so you can jack that up. Let's cover it or we can do a boil quicker. Once it comes to a boil, lower the heat, simmer it, and we'll be rolling. And then wait. And then we wait. And then we wait. One teaspoon of salt. No matter if you use his fingers and punch just to get a perfect teaspoon. He would have. Exactly. Alright, so now we're gonna get the potatoes ready. We're gonna lay them out on this pan. We're gonna drizzle some olive oil on them here. Oop, that's a lot. Not too much. That's a little more than a drizzle. Yeah. That's all right. Just use your fingers and work them around. I'll cut yeah. your soft. <laughs>
Well, as you can tell from all the laughing, we had a terrific time in the BBO kitchen making venison bourguignon. You can jump onto our website at www.bigbowoutdoors.com and get the full recipe that we'll post in the blog. So we'll try and keep you posted on that recipe and some of the others in future episodes. And until we see each other again, you keep stepping right outside your back door.